Welcome back to my mental health and crime channel. My name is Hooded London. This is the case of the idol quadruple murders. This is for entertainment purpose only. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, viewers for their support, for their mindfulness, and for the kind, interesting comments you leave behind. May the victims rest in peace, condolence to their families, and may the correct justice be served. Somebody asked me in my comment channel that the footage of Saeed with his hands injured was not in that chapter, the YouTube creators one. So they said that it must be edited. I'm always very sharp, clear with my research, and especially what I see. I wouldn't say or point out to something that is actually not there, and I don't even know how to edit a picture into something that it is not. So in fact, I have a better source for you than that chapter. If he didn't show it, I'll show you the more detailed one. It's from Law and Crime. Try Network. How about that? Sidebar, Law and Crime that we all watch for different cases. And this body cam footage is everywhere. So you see Saeed there with a mobile device in his phone. Whether it's a Samsung or iPhone, looks more like a Samsung, wouldn't know. But look at his thumb, and look at how injured that is. That's not a way, that's not the way a thumb is supposed to look like. You can see it's clearly turned into a darker red color because pressure has been put on the thumb, I believe. And you see cuts. All you have to do is just go to law and crime and put in the put in the title. I do Moscow murders, Banfield, full footage of the alcohol offense. You see it from two different ways. From body cam one of the cop and body cam two of the other cop. So it's not something that I can make up, so I'll show you. If you can't see from here, I'll come closer. Now that is Saeed this thumb, and that is not something I've made up. You just need to bring your phone device closer to Saeed thumb and you see. Now pay attention to the other hand Saeed is holding the beer can. Usually I would just focus on this hand that he's holding his device and the pictures concerning pictures he's been watching. But now look at this hand. That's what I did today. And you can clearly see it's injured. There's cuts on both his hands. So that can't just be a coincidence. And I'll play the clip for you. For you also that you can see it's from law and crime. You have the date upstairs. That was the day of the murders. Law and crime network. You see the three boys in the alcohol offense. They refused to stop when the police stopped them. And they said they thought it was some false police stopping them. They didn't even know which party and which house they came from, but they pointed out towards the girls' directions. And the third one said it was, and I think the guy's name was Mats. Or oh, Matt. You see Saeed soon. Now you see Saeed. Those are the pictures he's watching. Look at his thumb. 
could be the reflection of the light, but I do not think so. See that one has on a, a leather glove. Why don't you guys all have a drink tonight? A couple of beers. Beers? Yeah. Any hard liquor or anything like that? No. no. Come on, guys. Stumbled down the driveway like that? That's more than a couple of beers. To be honest, I haven't drinking anything in like a month and a half. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to drink. But well, it's more than a couple of beers. Six at most. Okay. What about you? Eight. Yeah. That's that's more accurate of an answer, I think. Two is, yeah, it's a little low. Well. So, six to eight for all of you? Some more shots? No shots, yeah. Okay. What kind of beer? Bush Light. Bush Light? Yeah, All right. Let's try one more time. Is it really six to eight or a little more than that? Six to eight. Okay. Fifty nine seventy seven, are you going to be issuing? There's the black truck. Copy, I'll bring him over and just pay attention to how many things are going on. How many things are happening at the same time? You have the black truck that is possibly Dylan Mortensen's truck. We've seen her taking a picture near a truck that looks exactly like that. I'm sure that this could be possibly the truck or the car that was the headlight was shining from the girl's, was flashing from the girl's house. Could be possible, I'll show you all. So this is at 3.01. Exactly at 3. So there was another, actually, if this was at 3, there was a, the car that was flashing from the girl's house was between 258 right up to 37 or 38 so it can't be the same car but it's quite interesting because Inan Harsh said that he saw a black luxury car near the girls area wonder if it was the same car so you can see Saeed swiping and watching pictures some concerning pictures actually. Looks like they all were watching pictures that could be related to the crime. But you can see Saeed's thumb and you can see Saeed's other hand and they look like it's injured to me personally. You can make up your mind. Look at his other hand too. And before anyone says it's edited, just check. The sources are law and crime. So are we trying to say that law and crime edited and made up these pictures? Obviously not. His hands are injured. That's clear to see. Unless it's camera reflections, which I, I doubt. I don't know if Saeed is being questioned. Strangely enough, he has bushy eyebrows. I'm just saying. Look at his hands. Look at the guy wearing gloves. Look at the other guy with his shirt so tight and short. 
So these are Saeed's hands, you can see it. It's not something I made up. Why is this guy's shoe so dirty? The one in the middle. Look at his shoes. Looks like it has some liquid on it. And look at this one's pants. The one next to him. And shirt. This one has Vans shoes on. Look at his shirt, how small it is. And look at this one's shoes, how dirty they are. Oh my God. Look at the timing. It's 2.55 and 38 seconds. The last call Maddie made to Jack D was 2.52 and 14 seconds. We hear a female yelling, stop it, stop. And look at the car that is flashing the headlights in front of 1122 Kings Road. That was actually the right timing. That was between three to four. So I believe the people who pre-planned this and did this called awful quadruple murders were in a car and were on foot. The four figures we saw running or possibly five figures, these people in Banfield. I believe there are people in Taylor Avenue behind the undercover couple, undercover corpus car. Pay attention to the timeline and I'll just play the video and pay attention to the headlights that are flashing in front of the girl's house. That is the person or people who are involved, the suspects. And I'm sure they are driving a 2011 to 2000, no sorry, 2011 to 2013 white Hyundai. That was the one the police were searching for. Brian Christopher Koberger came there much later. He had nothing to do with this. I don't know what purpose he came unless the surviving roommates called him or the victims. Possibly. Allegedly. This is when the police were chasing the boys. I wonder what they threw in the field. Hey, Moscow PD. I'll you. Oh. Get you up there. Hey, man, liquor. How are you guys? Oh, How old are you guys? Take it, not 21? Yeah. 19. Okay. 19? Yep. Okay, is there a reason why you stop back there? Did you hear it? Stop yeah. it, well, stop. Him, right. so. This is Law and Crime Network sidebar. It's footage that they got from the police. So it's the original footage. Listen to the background, a female yells, stop it, stop. Pay attention. Hello, sir. How old are you guys? Take it, not 21? Yeah. 19. Okay. 19? Yep. Okay. Is there a reason why you didn't stop back there? Did you all hear it? At 02... 55 and 16 seconds, you hear a female yelling, stop it, stop. I believe that is when something happened to Kaylee and Maddie. The previous time run was right, between three to four. Hey, 
say Moscow PD. All three of you. Oh. Get you up there. Hey, man, come back here. Follow you guys. Hello, sir. How old are you guys? Taking out 21? Yeah. 19. Okay. 19? Yep. Okay, is there a reason why you Yeah. Okay. 19. 19? Yep. Okay, is there a reason why you stop back there? Pay attention. You hear it clearly. Stop it, stop. Hey, Moscow PD. All three of you. Get you up there. Hey, man, come back here. Follow you guys. Oh, How old are you guys? No. Take it out, 21? Yeah. Okay. 19. 19? Yep. Okay, is there a reason why you didn't stop back there? Yeah. We stopped talking to him, right. so we didn't know. Stop it, stop. The female was yelling out loudly. Where was that coming from? It didn't seem like somebody was playing around. That was at 2.55 and 16 seconds. And you hear it on both the officer, undercover police officer, is video cam. You have Saeed with bruises on his hand and injuries. You have the figures running. What was really going on that night? And pay attention to the car. It's at 2.55 and 35 seconds. That means it's three minutes after the call was made from Maddie's phone thrice to Jack D and Kaylee's phone six times to Jack D. Look at the car flashing its headlights. Don't ever forget the truth lies in the beginning. It was said from the previous timeline from the police and Chief Fry that the killings and livings happened between 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Eaton, his mother said that 3 a.m., 2 a.m. is the hardest time for her family. Everything was happening between 2 a.m. to 3 16, 317, I believe. Take it out, 21? Yeah. 19. Okay. 19? Yep. Okay, is there a reason why you didn't stop back there? Yeah. We saw him talk to him, right. so we didn't know. Okay, yeah. so I yelled at you guys and then turned around because he walked up on him. I yelled at you guys, you didn't stop. Well, I did not hear you. Right. Yeah. Well, let's walk back over here, okay? Sure. You can see the car. Flashing from 11.22. The car lights have gone off now. Where you guys look at? There the headlights are back on. I think the car is going down the hill. Thank you, just hang up on that. Oh, hang up? Yeah, we're coming. We pulled this back. Gotcha. Yeah, take it off on me? Okay. I didn't hear you, sir. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You all three turned around and I pulled my flashlight. You said, hey, come here. You guys all turned around and walked away. I thought it was just like a fake person, honestly. Yeah, like somebody, somebody from, from a frat, frat or something. Some dude from a frat or something, someone trying to fuck yeah. with us. Okay. He thought it was some dude from the frat. Yeah, he's already. They're trying it. Okay. And now you see the three four, five, six figures running, how, how many ever there are.
11 past 3, I think the girls already, all the four victims were unlived. May the rest in peace. Allegedly, according to me, because the police said the killings happened between 3 to 4.